Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a rather controversial topic, and that is coin toning. It's controversial because sometimes it's a positive and sometimes it's a negative. With some new and expensive releases, toning rather quickly is becoming quite the frustration for some collectors. So then, what is toning? Quite simply, it is a change in the colour of a coin through oxidisation. A coin which is quite simply a piece of metal reacting with the air and other conditions over an extended period of time and this will alter its appearance. Different metals react in different ways, with silver being more susceptible than say gold. I'd love to go into the chemistry of toning but it has been longer than I care to admit when I was last in a science lesson, so we'll deal with this in a more layman's understanding. Toning can come in various appearances, with no two coins being able to tone in exactly the same way. It can affect both sides of a coin, or just one side of a coin, or just specific areas of a coin. It can turn a coin a dull or dark colour, or it can splash some really bright and attractive colours over the face of a coin. The variance is rather amazing. So then, is toning bad? Well, that really depends on a couple of factors. Firstly, has it improved how the coin looks? Is it more appealing to the eye? Does the toning make your coin look nice? Does it show the age and history of the coin? Or is it a bright and pretty effect to the coin? If that kind of thing appeals to you or potential buyers, then in those cases it's not all bad. But if the toning on your coin is splotchy, affecting only certain areas of the coin, or if it dulls the look of it or interferes with the design of the coin, then this might not add to the appeal of your coin. The toning on a coin can have an impact on the grade in which it could get as well. Now this can be positive or negative. Grading a coin is more focused on the wear of the coin, and if you haven't already seen our video on coin grading, then do go and check that out as well but the toning affects the look of the coin, with grading effectively being rather subjective, this can factor in. The toning itself is a layer which forms over the coin with the passing of time, and some believe that this can actually help to protect the coin itself. Think of it as a thin shell between the original striking surface of the coin and the elements external to it. Toning can add value to a coin, with some being drawn to the interesting and unique patterns on the coin, but on the flip side, those that just want a coin in their collection to appear as if new, with no wear or toning, that'll put those people off and hurt the value of the coin. Ultimately though, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and there will always be people who see toning as a mark of the age of a coin, or just a beautiful one-off pattern that they want in their collection, but there will be others which will just see it as damage or tarnish to the coin. More recently, modern proofs have suffered with rapid toning. Now all coins will age and tone over time, that is inevitable, but the speed of which some recently released coins have started to be affected have led collectors to draw their own conclusions as to what is causing it to happen so rapidly. Many blame the foam inside the capsules which hold the coins in place for speeding up the rate of toning, with some suggesting the chemicals specifically in the black foam being the culprit, with others experiencing it with the white foam which is used in some other coin releases as well. The type of capsule being used too has been linked with the speed in which the coins have toned, whether they are push capsules or screw shut capsules, also the tightness of the capsule when closed, itself being another alternative reason as to why coins are toning so quickly, as the more open it is, the more air that can get into it and start reacting with the coin. There's also the plastic and chemicals used in the capsules, which many have directed the blame at as well. Or even the air in the capsules when they first get sealed, affecting the speed of which this process takes hold. There are certainly some factors which can influence how rapidly toning or oxidization takes place, and if you want to try and avoid this happening, there are a number of steps you can take to at least slow the progress of this change. Firstly, heat. More specifically, the change in heat. If your coins are kept somewhere which is prone to temperature fluctuations, such as a garage or a loft, the heating then cooling on a regular basis isn't going to be good for your coins. 
Humidity too will play havoc on your collectible coins, not just affecting how fast they tone, but also inviting in other ways which your coins can be damaged over time. Various chemicals that your coins come into contact to could accelerate the rate in which your coins tone, from the oils in your hands when touching them, to the chemicals in the pages of your coin album, or ink in the cardboard of your storage solutions, these can all have an effect. Don't panic though and rush off worrying about your collection immediately though, as I said this is generally a process which will naturally occur over the longer term, and it is inevitable really, but as I said there are steps you can take in order to at least slow this process. If tone coins are your thing though, and you're drawn to them, then you do also want to be careful because there are individuals who will artificially tone coins in order to raise the value and sell them on at a higher premium, duping individuals into parting with more money, thinking a specific coin has built up this beautiful toning over many years. With many methods suggested to try and artificially tone the coins, ranging from professional artificial toning products to the use of sulfur, and one suggestion bizarrely to use eggs. You do need to be careful when buying valuable tone coins. One way to authenticate that a coin has not been rapidly toned by a forger is to learn to spot this for yourself. You can also rely on other expertise, for instance graded coins in slabs which would have been professionally authenticated as part of the grading process. What about the opposite side of the spectrum then? What do you do with ugly toned coins? Now many will say, whether ugly or not, the gradual toning is part of that coin's history and it's important numismatically, but others will say it's simply damage which needs remedying. We have in the past covered household products which you can use to clean or soak your coins in, but overall our advice is not to do this with rare or valuable coins in your collection. There is the option to have your coins professionally conserved to remove the toning if you wish, and return it to a state much more similar to when it would have been first minted, but this can be rather expensive and you'll have to weigh up how much you stand to gain versus the cost of having this done. Of course if you're going to try and remedy this yourself then you stand the chance of damaging the coin further, losing more value in your collectible coin than if you just left it with the toning on it. So ultimately the decision is up to you. Overall it's a tricky topic and I'm sure many of you will have polar opposite opinions on it and ultimately it's up to you what you want to do about toning on your coins. Let me know in the comments how you feel about toned coins and interesting I would love to know what's your favourite toned coin in your collection because sometimes they can look really beautiful. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well, it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins, we're on Twitter and TikTok. TikTok, we've got our shop and online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.